Hi, good afternoon everybody. The boys are back in action as they're home once again on game five of the six game homestand. This time taking on the Blackhawks. Coming up. Okay, so they are in a situation now that they got to win out all their home games, I believe, just to keep this thing going. The boys will attempt to be a game under 500, folks, for the first time since November the 30th was the last time we were one game under 500. Sabres were 10, 11, and 2. And that is the last time. We've only been over 500 once all season. That was at 7, 6, and 1, November the 10th. So we are just going to have to uh, get our act together somehow, uh, some way um, on this homestand. I mean, look, the numbers say coming into this game, Chicago's 2, 7, and 1, but they won their last outing. I always look at that. And the Sabres... 5-4-1, and one, they won their last outing. The good news for us, Chicago played yesterday, though. So it's a back-to-back -back for Chicago with travel. Uh, currently, the Blackhawks are sitting at 13-29-2. They're a minus 60 in the goals for and against. Minus 60. On the road, they're 4-18-1. There's no excuse at all for the Sabres not to win this one going away today. The Sabres at home are 10, 11, and 1, and I mentioned 5, 4, and 1 in our last 10. Overall, 19, 21, and 4. So this could be for the first time in six weeks that we're playing with, you know, the four games under 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3. You know, like we finally can get to one game under 500, setting up the showdown at home to at least finish the homestand a 500 team. So this is what I'm looking at, guys. Oh, I want to go over one thing here, guys. It won't be a long video. Now, the Sabres after 44 games, I mentioned, are 19, 21, and 4. Last year, after 44 games, they were 22, 19, and 3. We're five points behind last year's pace. The game number 44 last year, though, was the first of a five-game winning streak. So we've got to uh, really pick up things if, if we're going to like maintain pace with last year very soon. The Sabres, you might recall, after that eight-game losing streak, were 7-11. and 11. And from that point on, they went 7-11. Uh, and 11. Then they went 19-8-3. and three. They went on a, a, a in the 30 games, they, they went 19-8-3. and three. This team doesn't look like they can do that, but folks, it is unpredictable with a young hockey team like i said so we're going to see today if uh if uh, upl is going to get the start he should my guess is they'll put in levi i'd go with upl if it was my call gotta go with what's working we're desperate right now we can't play this like it's a development season we're still in this thing so i, I just don't think we should uh I just want to see if they're saying anything about who's in nets. Doesn't look like it, no. We'll see. Regardless, who's ever in nets, we have to win this game and we have to play this like it's a game seven. Everybody, we do. This is desperate times. We need to get points. We need to get winning. And yeah, I'll take it against the low bottom feeders in the league right now. Anything to get this season on track Anything to get momentum in our dressing room right now is what we need to do. It's not going to be, um, I, don't, I don't know if we'll, we might walk away with this one. But it's not going to be an easy task because we got Tampa next. And Tampa's picked up their game all of a sudden. And, you know, there's no easy game in this league. There really isn't. There's no easy game anywhere, any place, any time. Those days are long gone. So if the Sabres can take this, We'll be a game under 500, and we can just kind of take a sigh and say, okay, season's not over yet. We'll see what, uh, we'll see what the future brings the next 10, 15 games. Because if we could just get on a roll, guys, I know they could revitalize everybody. Everybody would be just so excited if the Sabres got on a five or six game winning streak and got back in this thing. 
So if they can win today, then it sets up a possible winning streak once again against Tampa. And um, if we don't win today, my goodness, what a season it's been. I'll tell you that. It just seems like a season we're going to finish a few games under 500, no matter what we do. If we can't get a game like this, we have no business talking about playoffs or, you know, anything, really. I'm at that point now with them. It's like, get it done. Get The games you have to win that you should win, get it done. Hands down, just get it done. They did it last game. And, and any coach with half a brain will put in Lukanen today, right now. Because Lukanen has let him one goal his last six periods. Put him in. Put him in. There's no excuse to not put him in right now. I don't care if people say, well, he needs a rest. Give me a break. There were times when guys like Berdur played 70 games a year. Put him in. Give him the experience. Give him the chance to be number one. Do it. He's on a roll. So that's where I'm at with it, guys. See you in the post game.